and just focus on what I'm going to say. I want you to imagine yourself sitting at home. See yourself there. Feel the couch that you're sitting on. Look at your kids running around. You're watching TV, you're reading a book, you're on the computer, whatever you usually do. And suddenly, you feel this immense pain in your chest. Put your hands on your chest. This immense pain. You don't know what it's coming from. It's just this immense pain. And you take a deep breath, and you think it will go away, but it doesn't. And this pain is just increasing, and suddenly you see yourself sweating. You stand up to find something, a cup of water, some medicine. But as soon as you stand up, you fall to the ground. Your family comes rushing to you. What's happening? Are you OK? You look at them. A tear comes out of your eye but you cannot utter a single word. Because at that moment, brothers and sisters, you can see angels coming in to the room. You know that it's your time. And suddenly you feel this tingling feeling in your toes. And it starts to crawl up your legs. Everything it touches turns blue cold and dies. Your soul is slowly coming out of your body. This tingling feeling, you want to stop it, but it, you can't. It moves up your legs. It's at your hips. Your whole lower body is dead. It's cold. It's blue. You try to move it, but you can't. Your family's calling 911, trying to save you. You want to tell them some final words, but not a single word comes out from the pain and the agony of death. You look at your kids. You don't know what's going to happen to them. You look at your wife, and suddenly this tingling feeling keeps crawling up your body. It's at your chest. You try to stand up, but you can't. Most of your body is dead by now. And you know that in a few moments, it's over. Brothers and sisters, the soul keeps coming up. And you're at your throat. You feel this tingling feeling at the throat. And the soul is just about to leave the body. And you're just about to die. And something happens. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that when the soul will come out and it will stop here at the collarbone, at the trachea, and everyone will say, who can help him? Someone help him, someone save him. But you know that it's over. You know that you're dying. You know that you're leaving this world. Your leg will be on top of the other like this. Out of the pain and agony of death, the soul is leaving your body. Your next destination is to Allah. The next stop is the hereafter. It's over. What if I told you that your body is only a garment for the time being? That the face in the mirror you are seeing dulls in importance to the soul that beams from your inner being? What if I told you that when we die it will feel as though in our lives we were dreaming or sleeping so fleeting the spirit freeing like streams discovering new meanings? more than what it truly ever seems. What if I told you that Allah repeatedly swears in the Qur'an by the night 
making oaths to the changing day to remind us of his power over this whole display and to think of how fast time can feel in just one day. With only 24 hours and in it, we are recommended to sleep eight, so one third of our lives are slowly slipping away. What if I told you that the grave is too small to fit your house? Too small for the money, for the cars that will fade like stars in relation to the vastness of what is to come? What if I told you that even though the casket is not big enough, for all these materials that the shroud can still house the most monumental of people not in stature nor in status but in deeds and devotion people who are able to see beyond the commotion the strength it takes to leave the crowd and focus on what is truly important as did Moses or Joseph Sumeya and Khadija each day I ponder on what it means to truly be a believer what if I told you that after every breath our accounts are getting nearer With every step inshallah we'll see it clearer To still enjoy the fruits of this life Smiling is charity but never too in love that we lose our clarity And forget the true prosperity To fulfill our promise and submit with sincerity And what if I told you that even if all the people were to rebel our shadows would still prostrate and bear witness to He who created you and me, Al Hamid, the praiseworthy.